Hello, my darling ladies, Crystal, your dating coach. Today, I want to talk about Jessica Gardner. Yeah, I know I am old news because it's been out a couple of months, but I just saw it a couple of days ago, Mr. Kevin Samuels offending Miss Jessica Gardner. Well, first of all, I don't understand why you darling ladies are taking advice from this man who only criticizes, never gives a compliment. So Jessica Gardner says she has her own business. She wants a high value man. And he tells her having a business is just like having a job. Really? Like why not compliment the lady? Well, you have your own business. Well, you seem like a young woman. I'm proud of you. My compliments. Good for you. No. Says nothing. How old okay. are you? How old are you? I'm 35. 35 years old. 35 years old and you're a business owner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And what's your question? Where are you at? North Carolina. And you're saying when to tell somebody you own a business? Because um, I find when I date down, God... Uh -huh see an interest and want to be like a business partner and um, I'm learning that maybe I need a high value man because that's what well first off um, ma'am I really don't understand uh, what kind of man are you talking about because uh, owning a business is no different than having a job in my opinion okay my darling ladies Jessica Gardner is a high value woman. I mean, what is a high value woman? A woman who's career oriented, ambitious, makes six figures. So she has a dog salon and I hear she makes about a hundred thousand bucks a year. She wants a high value man. Well, if she, if she can't have one, who can? But anyway, you can be a waitress, a domestic sales girl, any woman, any woman can have a high value man. You can have the man you desire. Because you do everything in your power to make yourself a high value woman. Groom yourself. Read everything you can. Go to the best places. You're ambitious. Have goals in life. And yes, if you are already a high value woman, your own dog salon like Jessica Gardner making six figures, so who should she be dating? Someone on her level or above. Why should she be criticized for that? But she is. She is criticized for that because unfortunately, Mr. Samuels doesn't give compliments, but he sure knows how to criticize. So she mentioned she had a 13 year old son and the father isn't in their life. And this is what he tells her. You're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but. Okay, but you're not accepting the fact that, okay. Average looking women. Average looking woman who's older. Average looking older woman with a 13 year old son. Average looking woman with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy. This gets worse every time I say something. And now you're asking for a man who's in the top 10% of men. You don't qualify for one. You don't qualify for one. You don't qualify for one. An attractive 35 year old woman with her own dog salon earning six figures a year. And she doesn't qualify for one. Well, my darling ladies, the waitress, the sales girl, the babysitter qualifies for one. Any woman qualifies for one. You can have that high value man. If you really want it, you are worth it. He is not looking at your bank account. He is not looking at the job that you have. He's looking that you are an educated, attractive, interesting woman. That's what he is looking for. You qualify for one, Miss Jessica Gardner and all the beautiful women who are watching. Okay, my darling ladies, I am a high value woman. I've been living in Milan, Italy, 100 years, came here as a model, I've said in a few videos, never left. And when I was in my 20s and 30s, dated only millionaires because I could. I was a model, an American model, 
in Europe, in Italy, and I was adored. But I am now over 50, my darling ladies, and I am still a high-value woman, and I still date men my level or above. You have to hire your standards. And when someone says, oh, maybe your standards are too high, you tell them, maybe your standards are too low. Any attractive woman can have a high-value man. Any attractive woman can have a rich man, an entrepreneur, a successful man. But a high-value man is not just based on his money. It's based on his values, that he's a man who wants a relationship. Not just date, have fun, wants a relationship. Wants a woman in his life. Wants to construct something together with a woman. Sees a future, marriage, children. That's what a high-value man is. A high-value man is also a man who respects women, treats them like a queen, adores them, loves them, and when they go out to dinner, pays the check. Well, I'm here to defend Jessica Gardner because I heard all these ridicules in an internet laughing. Oh, who does she think she is? Disillusional. She wants a high-value man. She's not beautiful. But she is. She's a very attractive woman. She's only 35. Not 35. Only 35. She's young. Age is just a number. She has a 13-year-old son. And so what? Do you know how many women who have been working as waitresses, sales girl, with 13-year-old son, a 10-year-old son, an 8-year-old daughter, and are dating and have married high successful men? High value, high successful men aren't looking at your bank account. They're looking at you. You, an attractive, interesting woman that they can have a great life with. That they can enjoy themselves with. That's what they're looking for in a woman. Someone with a sense of humor. Someone who's educated, intelligent, knows a little bit about everything. Knows how to carry herself when they go to an event or in a five-star restaurant. But grooming, anyone can learn. Any woman can groom herself, know how to talk well, know how to dress well, just by reading fashion magazines, going on YouTube and watching tutorials, and become a high-value woman. Check out my videos, How to Become a High-Value Woman. So this video is in the defense of Jessica Gardner. Yes, she is a high-value woman. She's an attractive woman. She's a woman who's earning $100,000 a year with her dog salon. She does not want to date lower than her. And she's right. She wants a high-value man. She wants the Gucci bag. And she deserves it. And every woman deserves it. The only thing stopping you is you. Believe in yourself, my darling ladies. Have self-esteem. Do not let your partner, your friends, negative people in your life tell you, you can't, you won't, you're not able to, you're looking out of your league. Yes, you are. When you look at a high-value man, and maybe you're a waitress or a sales girl, you are looking out of your league. But that's what you should do. <laughs> look out of your league. Look at men on your level or above. What, you're supposed to look down only at Dusties? Are we just supposed to date Dusties? Men with no ambition, no career, no home, no apartment, no job? Are we just supposed to fix up men? Or do we deserve to have a man who's going to pull us up emotionally, economically? So my darling ladies... Hire your standards. Don't let anyone bring you down. Keep away from negative, envious people. Ciao for now. Mwah. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and I love you. Thank you for subscribing and remember, do not ever lower your standards. Hire your standards. You are a queen. And don't let anyone tell you that you're not. Mwah!